guys, Barb with Inspire Me 360. And in this video, I want to talk about the energy of love and specifically the energy of unrequited love and what the context of this experience can teach us about ourselves and really the energy of what love actually is. So I feel like all so often human beings get really tangled up essentially in this energy of the special couple relationship. And it can be kind of debasing, it can be ungrounding and unsettling when we get our emotions tangled up with another individual. And so why when we go through heartbreak or why when we go through this experience, is it so unsettling and ungrounding to us in terms of our whole entire consciousness and this sort of heartbreak energy that we experience? So first of all, when we put ourselves into this vulnerable state, when we say, I love you to somebody and we open that door in terms of the understanding that we were, we are giving to another human being that we see them in a light that is very special specifically to us when we are magnetized towards another human being in this way. What often happens is that there is a certain, a certain tethering or a certain confusion where we want to essentially cage that individual or own that individual or you know lock them down in a particular timeline and it's important for us especially if you know we feel this connectedness that is also ungrounding to us and unsettling and really essentially bumping us off track that we lean into this feeling. And what I mean by lean into this feeling is that we really pay attention to the fact that whatever it is that we are creating emotionally, whatever bonding that we are creating is not taking that equilibrium and that balance that we need to maintain and shifting it into a place of loss of control. Because Again, the true energy of love is very balanced. It, it is in control. It's not a chaotic, hectic, uh, debasing energy. So the other thing to recognize is that when we identify things that we would deem as lovable or that we love in another, that is a beautiful emanation of what we are able to generate. And so I think the most beautiful lesson that we can take from any situation, whether it be a heartbreak, whether it be, you know, something that we have become attracted to or bonded to. And in that realization, in that cultivation of what sp springs forth from our own beingness, we can identify that we are generating that frequency, that we are generating that attraction and see the beauty of what that is. Instead of worrying about what the other, what the other individual that we cannot control is or is not mirroring back to us, simply bring that energy that we are generating back to the self, back to the heart space and realize that that energy of love is us. And there, there will be absolutely times in our lives where we will have that energetic reflection of that love that we are able to generate equally and honestly reflected back to us. And there are going to be periods in our life where what it is that we are generating is not reflected back to us or is in some way rejected. But if we can put it into context that we are learning about the self and it is not that the rejection is a reflection of something of unworthiness within us, but rather just a focal point for
as a human being. And if we can turn our attention away from the external world, away from what we may or not be getting in terms of that energy back to us from the external world, and we focus that energy that we are generating on our own journey, and we meditate and essentially marinate in that own beautiful vibration that we are generating. Yes, it may be attached or bonded to an individual in the external world, and it may be that that individual catalyzed that energy or brought forth that energy out of us. And that is a beautiful aspect of what that individual was able to do in terms of opening our heart center. But it isn't always going to be mirrored back perfectly and in balance and remembering that this is a journey and part of that journey is an understanding of the self and what all too often happens in terms of the human heart is that you know it blossoms like a flower it opens up towards things that it is catalyzed with in its external world and when they don't show up exactly as we are expecting or within the scope of what we envisioned, then we shut our heart space off again. And we really don't do that work in terms of entering the inner corridor of the learning of the heart and the understanding of the energy of love. And so we become cold or in that shutting off of the heart space, we move into an energy of being very closed off and oftentimes when we're in this closed off energy we miss a lot of beautiful opportunities so it's my suggestion if you've gone through a recent heartbreak or if you've gone through something that felt like unrequited love that you do a little bit of a deep dive within yourself and look at that beautiful energy that you were able to create when your heart space was open, when you were hopeful, when you were giving that energy to the world. And remember the sweetness of it. Remember the beauty of that energy and realize that it wasn't the other individual that was generating that energy. It was you that was generating that beautiful energy. And what this does is it calls your power back to you and you realize that truly that energetic frequency of the happiness, the bliss, the uh, whether it be, you know, the thoughts of the fantasy or whatever it is, that you were generating that. And so if it was truly coming from you, then there is nothing on the external uh, in terms of the field that is lacking at the current moment that prevents you from feeling that beautiful, blissful energy again. So how can we practice raising our vibration into this energy of love so that we can experience this blissful culmination of the energy of the heart and move it into every corridor of our beingness? Essentially, it's just tapping into that conscious experience that you have already created for yourself. And yes, in some cases, it was an external factor that allowed you or essentially drew forth that energy from you. But if you can understand at a higher level that even though that external factor drew it out of you, it was still your own core emanation. And this is the fastest way to get over this brokenhearted energy and really start to radiate this very, very high vibrational, open-hearted, you know, allowing the universe to bring into your vicinity what it is that you actually need. And remember, everything that you are seeking is also seeking you. And one of the most beautiful things that you also have to remember with this beautiful truth, beautiful truth, is that sometimes there are many things that have to come into alignment for you to experience the full spectrum of what it is that you have envisioned for your future. And sometimes you get 
pieces and parts of it that will show up in external individuals. But the universe is also always trying to create that complete picture for you. And it's doing this in a two pronged approach. So not only is it trying to create the most beautiful out expression of your external world, but it is continually trying to teach you how to balance and augment the constitution of your internal world as well. So that energy that you are, and it's all about this ascension and this learning journey that we call life. And truly that is the ascension process. It is that continual next rung of rising up within the energetic aspect of what you are as a soul towards that higher and higher attainment of the energy of the love and the light. Okay, I'm going to kind of wrap this video up, but hopefully this is helpful to anyone out there that is going through something right now where they're feeling like their heart is broken or they're feeling like they are closed off or they're not creating that magnetic dynamic relationship they wish to see they wish to see in terms of their external world just know that all of the work that you are doing in every given moment is helping the field to align towards that destiny that you are truly worthy of and that is also worthy of you okay have a beautiful weekend and wishing you all the love and life light, oh my God, that one lifetime can allow.